Lucentis is indicated for the treatment of patients with neovascular, also known as wet, age-related macular degeneration. Lucentis is contraindicated in patients with ocular or paraocular infections. Intravitreal injections, including those with Lucentis, have been associated with endophthalmitis and retinal detachment. Increases in intraocular pressure have been noted within 60 minutes of intravitreal injection. Serious adverse events included endophthalmitis and rarely events related to the injection procedure such as regmatogenous retinal detachment and iatrogenic traumatic cataract. Please see the Lucentis full prescribing information. Introducing Lucentis, a breakthrough in neovascular AMD. Seeing is believing. Although neovascular age-related macular degeneration, or AMD, accounts for less than 10% of all AMD cases, it causes about 90% of all AMD-related cases of legal blindness. Neovascular AMD can progress quickly, with vision declining to the equivalent of legal blindness in one eye in as little as two years. Previously approved therapies for neovascular AMD have been shown in clinical trials to slow vision loss. Now, for the first time in neovascular AMD, Lucentis offers patients the potential to regain vision lost to the disease. Lucentis has been shown to maintain or improve vision in patients with neovascular AMD for up to two years. Lucentis provides efficacy by targeting the pathophysiology of neovascular AMD. Let's take a closer look at a healthy eye before the onset of neovascular AMD. As we enter the eye, we see the periphery and the central retina, the optic disc, the macula, and the fovea. This is the cross-section of a healthy retina. In contrast, neovascular AMD disrupts the anatomy of the retina, leading to central vision loss. Neovascular AMD is characterized by angiogenesis, the localized proliferation of highly permeable choroidal vessels, caused by an overexpression of the growth factor, known as VEGFA. In in vitro studies, VEGFA has been shown to be a primary factor responsible for the development of choroidal neovascularization in neovascular AMD. However, there are several types of growth factors, VEGFA, B, C, D, and E, and placenta growth factor, that are essential to many processes in the body, including wound healing. There are several biologically active forms of VEGFA that differ by amino acid length. VEGFA-189, 121, 165, 206, and the cleavage product VEGFA-110. These forms all promote new vessel growth and vascular leakage. In the presence of plasmin, a component of blood, cleavage occurs and all VEGFA forms are converted to VEGFA-110. Therefore, leakage associated with neovascular AMD may increase the amount of VEGFA-110 cleavage product. When any of these VEGFA forms bind to their receptors on nearby choroidal blood vessels, highly permeable new blood vessels grow into the subretinal space, causing edema and damage to photoreceptors, ultimately leading to central vision loss. Over time, formation of fibrous tissue and scarring may also occur, causing permanent macular distortion and central visual field defects. Seeing is believing. Lucentis is a breakthrough that is changing the treatment landscape for neovascular AMD. Lucentis is an antibody fragment formulated for ophthalmic use that was designed to quickly and completely penetrate all layers of the retina to reach the site of choroidal neovascularization. Unlike other therapies, Lucentis was designed to bind with high affinity to all known forms of VEGFA, including the biologically active cleavage product VEGFA-110. This binding prevents the interaction of VEGFA with its receptors on the vascular endothelium, reduces vascular proliferation and permeability, and decreases macular edema. See the evidence. Lucentis is FDA approved to treat neovascular AMD based on the results of two pivotal phase three trials, Marina and Anchor. 
In the MARINA trial, in patients with minimally classic or occult lesions, 95% of lucentis-treated patients maintained vision at year one with monthly dosing versus 62% sham, and 90% maintained vision at year two versus 53% sham. And in the ANCHOR trial, in patients with predominantly classic lesions, 96% of patients treated monthly with lucentis maintained vision versus 64% of vertiporfin PDT treated patients at year one. See the letters. In the MARINA trial, with monthly dosing, 69% of lucentis treated patients experienced a gain of more than zero letters on the ETDRSI chart at year two versus 22% sham. In fact, with monthly dosing, Lucentis improved vision by at least 15 letters in 33% of patients at year 2 versus 4% sham. Lucentis resulted in a mean improvement in vision of 22 letters versus the sham treatment at year 2. Similarly, in the ANCHOR trial, with monthly dosing, 75% of Lucentis treated patients experienced a gain of more than zero letters at year one versus 28% of vertiporfin PDT treated patients. In fact, with monthly dosing, Lucentis improved vision by at least 15 letters in 40% of patients at year one versus 6% of vertiporfin PDT treated patients. Lucentis resulted in a mean improvement in vision of 21 letters versus vertiporfin PDT at year one. See the safety profile. The safety and tolerability profile of Lucentis has been established in more than 1,000 patients for up to two years. And because it is an antibody fragment, Lucentis achieves rapid systemic elimination, minimizing systemic effects. Seeing is believing. Lucentis redefines efficacy in neovascular AMD for a difference that your patients can see and that you can see in your patients.